Hello, biology students. I wanted to take a few minutes to just give you some tips and pointers on how I would like this lab report for your plant lab um, right up to look. So first of all, I've added some extra details onto this document. So hopefully just reading this um, with the extra details um, is, is hopefully pretty self-explanatory. I will reiterate, this is a partner activity. So just one lab report per person. I do however, expect um, to be able to see that both people participated in the actual typing of the report, um, but only one lab report per group. So because of that, it's very important um, that we, that you have both people's names on. So I kind of started, so here's my lab report. I just called it my cool plant lab. You can call yours. Please don't steal my title, come up with your own, and I'm going to pretend that Mrs. Card was my lab partner, so by Lorna Burkholz and Linda Card. And the first thing says on here says statement of the problem. So I have a title. I put both my names on. Statement of the problem. What question or questions are you trying to answer? So the question I'm trying to answer is how are plants affected by varying amounts of sunlight? So that is my question. After that, I need to come up with um, I need to give kind of an overview of, of what we're going to be doing in the lab. Let me move this down. Um, so preliminary observations or background information um, about the subject. This should include a brief overview of what your experiment was or maybe still is for some of you if you're still collecting data. This should just be a few sentences, but not one sentence, right? So not one sentence. It should be a little bit longer than that. And then we'll come up with hypotheses. So how are plants affected by varying amounts of sunlight? And the other thing before I go on, we do want to stay away from using terms like I, we, or me. So I, we, me, so I wanted to know this or we wanted to know this. It sounds more professional, although I'm going to be honest with you, when you get to college, you might find out that this is changing a little bit, but we're going to stick with this format. Um, our group wonder what um, varying or varying or different amounts of sunlight had on plant growth um, This was a controlled experiment in which one plant was put in sunlight all day while one plant was, I don't know, wait, maybe one plant received sunlight for only I don't know, two hours each day, something like that. So this is kind of the premise of our experiment. Then what was, um, what was my hypothesis? So my possible solution, um, we have to make sure that this is testable. So here, so here's where, oh shoot, did I forget? Uh, I'm actually, and it doesn't say that on there, but I'm going to say, I'm going to call this the introduction, or you could call it the purpose, sorry. That probably should be labeled in there. And then hypothesis. Mm. I don't want to say, I think this will happen. I want to say, if a plant receives I before E, Spelled that wrong, everybody. Oh, I'm just going to practically receives more sunlight, then it will grow faster. That's my prediction. If you'll notice, I used an if I do this, then or if this is done, then this will happen. Pretty simple, straightforward. That's my hypothesis. Make sure it's a complete sentence. 
make sure it is testable. That's testable. I can test that. I can set that up as a lab and I can and I can test that. Um, I'm going to list all the materials. And again, materials. And then I'm going to list all the materials. I'm going to go through so I need, you know, to plant soils. I need two cups. Some of you needed more than two cups. You you do you, whatever it was that you used, and so on and so forth. Um, then the procedures. So I want this in a numbered or bulleted format. A lot of times, okay, so procedure. Um, and I'm just doing this really, really quickly. So this is not the complete materials list. Many of you had other things. This is, I'm just kind of showing you. So procedure, um, and again, you can number or bullet. I don't care. It's faster for me to number. Um, plant two plants in, I used star foam cups. I wish I had a better option because I know that's not great for the environment. Plant two plants in star foam cups. Um, Water them thorough. So remember thoroughly. Remember the purpose of of the procedure. You want to. Oh, I can't spell when I'm in front of you. Um. You want to. Is that right? Yeah. You, you want to make sure that you give enough detail so that someone else can repeat your experiment exactly, um, and hopefully get the exact same result. So that's kind of the point of the procedure. So I'll go go on and on. Again, lots of details. You do that. Then here is your results and your data. So this section should include a data table um, of your plant growth observations or additional notes. Um, so I, I hope you made some observations and not just measured. I hope you're, you know, wrote some observations down as well. Um, so I want to see a data table as well as a graph. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So I think it is easiest to make a data table in Google Sheets. I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and I'm going to and I'm going to open a new blank spreadsheet. And here's why I like Google Sheets. It's super easy. First of all, it's it's made for data tables, and you know that's what spreadsheets are. So I might label one column day, and the other column growth, plant. I'm going to say growth of my control, and this one. Oops, I see that I'm not, you can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, growth. This will be experimental. I do want to say this is going to be in centimeters because when I, when I enter this, so I don't want a date. I really want day one, day two, day three, day four, all the way down there. My growth probably at first is going to be zero for a while. Okay, till about, I'm going to pretend that mine started growing really fast, which, which I know it didn't. So let's say my control was one centimeter, one centimeter, three centimeters. Okay, and let's say the experimental one was one, one, and maybe by here it was, I don't know, 1.5 centimeters. Let's pretend that. All right, so here's what's really cool about sheets. If I have, I'm going to do shift control to highlight because I like that format better. I'm going to go up to insert. I'm going to insert a chart. Okay, and it already um, gave me, I'm going to move this a little bit, 
look at how professional that looks. Like I'm so, I just, I love Google Sheets just for this. Um, it already gives me the growth of my control, the growth of my experimental um, sample and shows me, you know, what has happened. This is day, make sure you check your labels, day one, two, three, four. I don't like that it didn't give me uh, a label here, um, although it does say growth in centimeters here, but it doesn't say centimeters here, but that's okay. Also, I could change this to different types of, of charts. Kind of like a line chart for this. Um, I think that's probably most appropriate for what we're doing um, for this particular experiment. Um, but I do want to go in and change those the title on that side. And I also want to change the title of my graph because this is just kind of weird. I had to get myself out of the way. Um, so I'm going to go up into customize because I want to change. Oh, look at this chart and access titles. I feel like this is easier than it used to be even. So my chart title, I want my chart title to say, so I clicked on chart title and now I'm going to say, um, the, whoopsie, just kidding, the effects of sunlight of amount of Uh, well, I hope that's not too long. Nope, it looks like it fits, so that's very good. And then I want to fix the title on my on my um, Y axis here really quick too. So I'm just going to go back into where I chose chart title because remember this is chart and axis titles. Go back up into chart title. I want not the horizontal, but I want the vertical. Horizontal is like horizon. I always have to think about that. So the title, nothing pops in here because you can see there's not a title in here. So this is, um, I'm going to say centimeters, centimeters of growth. Boom. There it is, centimeters of growth. And if you have a better title, you go right ahead. Um, but I think overall that that this looks pretty good. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to, so when it's surrounded by blue, my whole chart is, is highlighted. I'm going to right click. Oh, just a second, maybe that's not. Just kidding, it's right here in our options. I'm going to copy my chart. Once I've copied my chart, I'm going to go back to my plant lab. I'm going to space, I spaced down a couple spaces because I know I want to put my data table in probably first. I'm just going to, I usually do control V, but we can do paste. I do not want to link it to the spreadsheet because I don't ever want to have, to, I don't want to have to look at that. I just want there posted right in there. Now I'm also going to go back really quickly and get my, I'm going to copy my, I want to copy my data, but first I actually think I want to outline this. So I go up into the little tic-tac-toe board look at thing. I want this, there we go. Um, I want to copy this, go back to my plant lab, paste that in there. I do not, I want to paste it unlinked. Beautiful. Look how professional that looks. So day one, two, three, four. And it was so much easier, I think, really to do it in Google Sheets and the chart in Google Sheets. Um, and then just paste them in here and I'm done with that part. So then you really just have the conclusion. Um, 
accept or reject your hypothesis and explain what happened and explain at least one thing you learned. And that is all.